Welcome back to Woodworking with Wes. We're on segment three of our Blueprint to Build series. Today we're going to be turning the layout drawing that we made in our last segment into the crude shop drawings that I typically take into the shop to do my construction. You've seen me do this. If, if you watched any of my videos, you've seen these crude shop drawings. I've showed them to you before. The one thing that we're going to do, however, is I build a frameless style or a European style cabinet. And the other typical style of cabinet is face frame style. That's the way I was trained 45 years ago was face frame. But anyway, we're going to make a shop drawing for both frameless style and face frame style. And then in our next segment, we're going to go to the shop and cut out and build a frameless and a face frame style cabinet. Let's get started. We're going to draw this cabinet right here, this base cabinet 3, 27 inches wide, in both frameless and frame, face frame style construction. So let's start off with the frameless and show you how I do my shop drawing. And like I say, very crude. I'm the king of crude when it comes to doing shop drawings. Because all I'm really after when I do a shop drawing is an indication of what I need to cut in order to build this cabinet. Now we've got a few basic things we need to do. We know this cabinet is 27 inches wide. So let's start off we're 27 inches wide. All right. A countertop is 36 inches high but we have an inch and a half thick countertop and we have a four inch toe kick. That leaves a 30 and a half inch high cabinet. Now I build my toe kick separate and so this is going to be the total height of my cabinet, 30 and a half, and my toe kick will be separate when I build it. So we got a 30 and a half inch high cabinet, 27 inches high or wide, and we know cabinets are 24 inches deep. There'll be a quarter inch back on this cabinet, so the sides of my cabinet will be 23 and 3 quarters. So we have two sides, 23 and 3 quarters by 30 and 1 half. And that tells me the sides of my cabinet. We have a floor on our cabinet. It's also 23 and 3 quarters deep. 27 inches wide, but I use 3 quarter inch material and we've got two sides. So subtract 1 and a half from 27 and we have 25 and 1 half. So our floor is the 23 and 3 quarters by 25 and a half. These lines here indicate stretchers that I always put between all of my drawers. There'll be a top, there's a top drawer, and then we have the two large drawer here, because this is a stack of three. Base, drawer, three. That always indicates three drawers. So we have three stretchers, and we have three stretchers. My stretchers are five inches wide, and also by the 25 and one half. And this tells me the information that I need to know to build this cabinet. These are the pieces I need to cut out. Now there's a hanging cleat in the back, in the back, the, the quarter inch back that we nail on. I don't write those down and indicate those, but because this is the information I need right here to cut out all of the pieces to nail the cabinet together. Now my spacing, I always put my top drawer at five and a half. This is a three quarter inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, and three quarter inch because this is a frameless style construction. And so that makes my remainder down here 11 and 11. And I know these measurements by heart just because of the fact that I build this all the time. But if you did the math, if you added this all together, 11, 11, five and a half, and four times three quarters, you would end up with 30 and a half. Then we can also indicate our drawer faces off of this measurement here. Um, we're 27 and a half inches wide. Our top drawer face is going to be six and one eighth. And again, I know this measurement because I've worked out the math before. I won't go through the process of working out the math, but I'll just, you'll know that, I, that I've done this before. So trust me on this one. And we subtract an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch on frameless construction on each side. So 26, and three quarters is the width of our drawer face. Same down here, these two drawer faces are going to be 26 and three quarters. These will be um, 
panel drawer faces. So if I if I were to do a shaker style, this would have a panel, this would have a panel, this would just be a blank um, uh, slab. And the reason I do it that way is because the once you get into a bigger size, it looks better to have a panel drawer face, and that's just things I've worked out. But anyway, um, 26 and 3 quarters is the width. The height of this drawer face is 11 and 13 sixteenths. Again, a measurement that I've worked out over the past. So this gives me my cabinet and my drawer faces, all of the information I need to have. And so my crude drawing comes off of the information that I have gleaned by putting my layout together. I know it's 27, I know it's 24, I know it's 30 and a half inches high. And I've transferred all that information into a shop drawing. And I can now go to my table saw and cut out my cabinet and get ready to assemble. We're getting ready now to draw the cabinet in a face frame style. So the first thing we need to do on a face frame style always, now you can see this is my drawing for my frameless. We're going to draw it, but the thing we're going to draw now with our crude drawing is we're going to actually draw out the face frame. So let's start there. Now our face frame cabinet, we're going to incorporate our three inch filler here. So let's start off drawing our face frame out. Now again, a face frame has got wider uh, styles and rails because it's a face frame first. And I always made my face frame one and a quarter inches. And over here we would incorporate that three inch, so three and then a one and a quarter would be a four and one quarter inch uh, style. And styles run up and down and rails run back and forth across. So these are our styles. And we list that on the side over here. And we put down styles. And we'll go. And, and again, our cabinet is 27, but we have this three. So we're actually going to be a total of 30 inches wide by incorporating the filler. So just keep that in mind. We're actually 30 inch wide face frame, 27 inch wide cabinet. So one and a quarter inch. Also again, up here, our cabinet is 30 and a half inches tall. However, um, on a face frame style, we have a bottom rail that is bigger than just a three quarter inch bottom. I do it a one and a half with a three quarter inch lip over the top of my toe kick. So my toe kick is still four, but I have, and my floor is, is sitting on that toe kick, but I have three quarters of an inch hanging down. So my spacing from the, from the bottom of the face from the floor is only three and one quarter. Uh, it's a little less toe kick and, and it you can space it different if you wanted to move it up a little bit you could but this is the way I did it uh, and so we're going to go back and do it um, the way I was taught years and years ago. Uh, like I say I learned how to do face frame cabinets um, at the very beginning of my apprenticeship 45 years ago and these are some of the things that we did back then and so I'm going to kind of show you the way I did it back then. Um, I don't build face frame cabinets now but uh, because I build frameless style but I'm just going to show you how I did it back then. So we always did an inch and a half bottom three and a quarter inch uh, toe kick reveal and so instead of our cabinet being 30 and a half we're three quarters of an inch more so we're 31 and a quarter inches tall on our face frame. So our rails are going to be 31 and one quarter. So one of them, one and a quarter by 31 and a quarter, and one four and one quarter by 31 and a quarter. Okay, so there's our two styles. And we do it, and again, these measurements are based upon what I did years ago. So we're going to go ahead and draw in the rest of our face frame. I always had a two inch top rail, one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. 
Those were always my measurements as I did my face frame cabinets. Now, in order to determine uh, our panels, we'll go back here, but let's go ahead and finish getting our, our uh, styles and rails done. We've got our styles here. We're going to have one rail, two inches by, and we take four and a quarter, five and a quarter, five and a half from 30 is going to be 24 and one half is going to be our measurement in here. You can see it's a little narrower. That's one of the advantages of frameless style construction is you pick up a little extra space because you don't have some of the space being used up by face frame. So 24 and a half is the width of our rails. We have one at two and, and we have three rails at one and one half by 24 and one half. Okay, there's an extra step when you do a face frame. Now you've got to go back and list the size of your panels. We can go ahead and make our face frame here because we have our styles and rails here for a face frame. But now we have our panels. Okay, again, we have two sides. Our sides. Now, face frame, three quarters of an inch thick. Our back is quarter inch thick. Our cabinet's 24 inches deep. So our panels are going to be 23. So we have two 23 inch panels. We are only 30 and a half inches tall because this extra three quarters of an inch is not, it's just face, not cabinet. So we're still only 30 and a half in our box height. So one, two 23 by 30 and a half is our side panels. 123 because we have a floor down here. We have a floor and it's going to be only the width of our rail because we're going to keep the sides flush with our face frame here so that we can mount our drawer guides which mount flush to the side of the cabinet. So this 23 by 24 and one half is our floor and we have Again, three dividers. Now, I already have a style, or I mean, excuse me, a rail as a divider, but I still put a little stretcher behind to give some support to that rail. So we're going to put three, and we're only going to make them four inches deep because, like I say, we have a, a, a rail in front of it by 24 and one half. So now we have our face frame that we have to build. Then we go back and we cut and and uh, get our panels ready and we assemble our cabinet and put our face frame on. Now, we're not going to go any further than that on this one because we're going to show you this as we build this cabinet. This is a little more complicated to build than this cabinet, which is part of the reason that a majority of construction for kitchen cabinets has now gone to this style. Added space, ease of construction, and uh, speed and, and pricing is also a, a, a factor. But uh, anyway, we're not going to go any further. I just wanted to do these two shop drawings here to show you how I turn a layout drawing into a shop drawing so I can go to the shop and make my cuts and be prepared to build my cabinet. And that's what we're going to do next time on Woodworking with Wes.